Introducing the all new Corolla. The 251 to 166 Farm Bill vote that ended a long and bitter partisan House fight over how much to cut the national food stamp program sends to the Senate a bill that spends almost $33 million on a SNAP study and pilot program in the NMI and makes one congressman very happy. For me, Mario, it's a three-year fight. Um, uh, after three long years, I can finally um, report that the House has um, approved um, the $32.5 million um, pilot project uh, to bring the Northern Marianas into the national program, the SNAP. Making thousands in the Commonwealth eligible for what Congressman Greg Khalili Sablon says will be the same benefits as those in the rest of the U.S. For example, in Guam, um, um, which has SNAP, uh, benefits are almost twice as high as the Northern Marianas. A family of four in the Northern Mariana Islands uh, gets $444 a month. A family of four in Guam gets $931 a month, um, and so that's um, not fair. Sablon says the pilot will start right after expected Senate approval of the bill and signing by the president next month, and will continue during the NMI SNAP study. There's a two-year study, but in 2015, by October of next year, uh, we will see a benefit um, besides the appropriation for the present law grant, which is... Um, 12 million, um, over 12 million dollars, uh, an additional 13 and a half million dollars will be added to that for benefits. Uh, while, while the study continues to go through. 8.5 million for NMI SNAP would continue in both FY16 and 17. The NMI would also be eligible for training money, so Sablon says people can get off of food stamps. The study will look at setting up a required electronic benefit transfer, or EBT, system for the NMI that Sablon says can be funded out of pilot dollars and increasing tax revenue. But the NMI would still receive the full 30.5 million in pilot money, even if SNAP proves not feasible in the Commonwealth. The breakthrough on NMI SNAP comes as the Farm Bill national food stamp fight here pitted conservatives bent on making cuts bigger than the bill's $8.6 billion in savings against liberals opposed to any cuts. Massachusetts Democrat Jim McGovern. This bill will make hunger worse in America, not better. If this bill passes, thousands and thousands of low-income Americans will see their already meager food benefits shrink. And for what? Why? To meet some arbitrary deficit reduction goal? To pay the cost of the giveaways and the crop insurance program? To, to pay for the sweetheart deals for the sushi rice growers and the peanut farmers and God knows who else? But at a time when the national pot of food stamp money is being reduced, Sablon says the NMI, until now getting a fixed block grant, will see a big increase. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.